So here we are with the fabulous Louisa Zisman. I am so glad to meet you at this event. Oh, thank you. It's <laughs> lovely to meet you too. And um, tell us about your involvement with Angels Den because I think they uh, helped you get investment for your business, the Baker's Toolkit, which yeah. I think is an amazing idea, by the way. Oh, thank you. Um, uh, so I found out that I had won The Apprentice and that I'd come second and I approached Bill and Lois, at eight, eight, I approached Angel's Den um, about pitching with them for investment for Baker's Toolkit um, and I have to say they were absolutely brilliant. It was an absolutely unknown world to me and I went in, they held my hand, supported me all the way and put me in a room in front of 16 people with lots of money who might want to invest in me. And um, I walked away from the meeting with pretty much everyone in that room wanting to invest in my business, which was absolutely incredible. Um, that was on the 17th of July. Um, I then chose three of the investors that I felt suited me best um, and that I felt I could work with the most. And each of them has different attributes that I lack. So I wanted to have angel investors that would help me and aid me through the growth of my business all the way through to exit. Apart from just putting the money, you know, who yeah, could also yeah. mentor you in some way? Yeah, for me it wasn't all about the money. Um, one of my investors is a silent investor and he just wanted to give me money. Um, the, the other one's very much a, a financial mentor and the other one's very much a, a, a very a business mentor. Um, and all of them are experts in exiting, which is what an investor loves. How are they going to get a return on their investment? Yeah. So um, I pitched on the 17th of July, and on the 17th of August, I had the money in my bank account. So it's brilliant, isn't it? Because usually it takes ages. Yeah, not with Angel Stern. It was. I was. Um, hugely impressed and astonished actually about the speed at which Angels Den could work to and what a personal service they offer as well. Um, it wasn't standard out of book, it was all about me and my needs um, and matching me with the right people. And I, I love to summarize Angels Den and say they're like dating for entrepreneurs. You know, they really do match um, the the right investors with the right entrepreneurs. It's, like, it's almost like personalized business matchmaking. It, it, it is. It's, it, it definitely is personalized business matchmaking. They know what they, you know, Angels Den knew what I wanted. They knew what inv investors wanted um, and they matched that perfectly. And it took four weeks from me standing in a room and getting the money in my bank account. So um, I launched in November. So it is- Are you having a launch party? I am having a launch party. Six well, I want to come to it. 6th of November is my media launch party. Ooh, I have to come for it. <laughs> and also, uh, apart from The Apprentice, I've got to ask you this, because my audience would love me to ask you this, because you've been in the news constantly for you know your fashion sense, your sexy cocktail dresses, the amazingly like avant-garde bikinis and losing uh, weight. I always thought you still had the perfect shape, but oh. you somehow wanted to lose more weight. And you still look perfect, slim yet curvy. And the thing is, do you find that the media focuses too much on your showbiz image, your public image, your figure and your fashion sense than your business? I think it's very much with the media, a, a toss up actually, with, with them being, you know, I'm, I am young, I'm 26, um, I, I look a certain way, I love to party, I'm a big party animal. Um, we love to party, don't we, in, in showbiz? Yeah, we love partying, you know, and at the end of the day, I'm a 26 year old single woman, um, I want to go out and have fun, and, um, it, but equally at the same time, I've got two already successful businesses, I'm starting another. Um, I think occasionally the media may miss that uh, th that I have a day job. I'm not I'm not a celebrity. I'm not a full time celebrity. I don't spend hours in a salon having my hair done and having my nails done, and I don't have a stylist. Um, and, you know, I work. I work hard at, at every day, and at the minute I'm kind of doing seven days a week. But because I still main party, um, and I, you know, I work all day. Today I left work at six. I got here an hour and a half late, and I'm still doing a I lot. I think you know. I think the reason is because the media sees. I mean, in society, you know, when you say career woman, business woman, entrepreneur, people expect someone to see someone in corporate, you know, attire yeah. in boardrooms. And when they see that you, being I a businesswoman, yeah, you break the stereotype, and you're also very kind of. Uh, very show busy and uh, and I think you do have a performer side to you yeah. and they love that side I mean when I when I lost weight the first thing I did was show off my body in tight shirts and skin tight trousers That's the first thing I did, you know, 
And I do, I've done corporate stuff as well, but I'm seen as a showbiz presenter, which I love, by the way. Because to be honest, I, I don't want to go back into the corporate world. <laughs> yeah, corporate is boring. I've always maintained corporate is boring. But it's good money, though. I mean, occasionally I, I still do the corporate, like, consulting stuff, because I do love the, the cash. <laughs> I think you can be corporate and fun. And I think that's why I'm, I'm perhaps such a, a matrix and such a contradiction to the media. Yeah. Because you, you have broken I'm, that stereotype. I'm young, yeah, I, you know, I guess I do break a stereotype. I, I know what I'm doing. I'm, I'm business-minded. I'm very savvy. Um, I'm hugely independent. I, I earn good money, and I do business. And I love, I love working. That's what I love doing, and I love working in my industry. Which Basically, is I mean, the, the Baker's Toolkit is your, is your business. You're launching it next month. And is there anything else you're going to be coming up with? Um, you no. probably don't have the time. I have no time now. I just got a book deal today as well. Oh, that's great. Yeah. What's the book going to be about? Baking. Oh, nice. So, yeah, you know, I'm still sticking with what I do and, and what I know. I have two existing businesses in the in the baking cake decorating industry, Dixie's Cupcakery and... I want Baker to come Shop. to the book launch as well. <laughs> it's not till next year. Wait until next year. They're going to film there. Uh, <laughs> film at the launch as well, we'll uh, Baker's Toolkit. We will film. We will film. But, you know, Baker's Toolkit um, it is really exciting. It's, it's new. It's different. There's nothing like it out there, um, and it already has a huge following, and we haven't even launched yet. And I um, love the idea, by the way. It's, it's so unique. I mean, no, I'm surprised no one's come up with it before, <laughs> because you know, I mean, baking is huge in this country. Yeah, you know, baking, cake decorating, it, it has seen huge growth in the past kind of five, six years, and continues to see to see huge growth. Um, and. I'm just so excited and I feel so privileged actually that I got to meet Bill, Bill and Lois and Stan and the, the rest of the team from Angel's Den um, and that, that they have made my dream come true with launching my own baking brand. Well, congratulations and uh, I really hope things go super well for you uh, and uh, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me.